we're gonna discuss a little bit about liquid nitrogen. And that's why we're wearing these really cool Mega Man gloves because liquid nitrogen is extremely cold. Liquid nitrogen is negative 321 degrees. And I'm gonna bring a little bit of it out to show you guys what it looks like right here. And so we know that the three states of matter are solids, liquids, and gases. Well, this liquid is so cold that it turns into a gas. I'm gonna pour a little bit on the ground. Pretty much instantly. Liquid nitrogen is used for a lot of really cool things. It's used to cool down heavy machinery. It's used to cool down um, a lot of lab things. Whoa! And so what's happening is this liquid is forcing itself out. Let's see what happens when we put a balloon over top of this container. Whoa. As you can see, it is growing so fast. Then we can agitate it a little bit. And then, woo! Here we go, Hannah, let's uh... We have a lot of balloons. Do you guys think that we can fit all of these balloons inside that cooler? Whoa, all those balloons fit inside of this small cooler. Whoa. Oh my so God. you might have thought that they would have popped, but what happens is, is the molecules inside of here got so cold, so cold, that they shrunk. Then they start to warm back up because the oxygen in the room is so warm, and they start to party again and move around, and they start to expand again. We're gonna do an experiment with the pennies, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna smash them. All right, so here's the pennies right here. We're gonna put them down. All right, let's see what happens when we smash them with the hammer. Whoa! These pennies just broke. But all pennies won't break. Older pennies are very, very strong. See, if you look at you, there's actually two different metals here. They are copper coated. You can see the zinc right there in the center. Older pennies are made of solid copper, so they will be a lot harder to do any damage to them. Right here is my boom stick. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna place it on that balloon which is filled with hydrogen. Now hydrogen is a very explosive gas and this is gonna be an explosive experiment. All right, here we go. So three, two, one, flame on! 